Regulation for Emergency Source of Electrical Power in Cargo Ships The information in this video is sourced from Solus, Chapter 2 Under Regulation 43 Emergency Source of Electrical Power in Cargo Ships The following regulations are application for the ships constructed from 1 September 1984. The following subjects are covered in this regulation. First, general location, second, services to be supplied by the emergency source of electrical power, third, emergency generator slash emergency accumulator battery, fourth, transitional source, fifth, emergency switchboard, sixth, operating conditions, seventh, periodic testing. First, Let's see the regulation on general location. A self-contained emergency source of electrical power shall be provided. The emergency source of electrical power, associated transforming equipment, if any, transitional source of emergency power, emergency switchboard and emergency lighting switchboard shall be located above the uppermost continuous deck, and shall be readily accessible from the open deck. They shall not be located forward of the collision bulkhead, except where permitted by the administration in exceptional circumstances. The location of the emergency source of electrical power, associated transforming equipment, if any, the transitional source of emergency power, the emergency switchboard and the emergency lighting switchboard in relation. Relation to the main source of electrical power, associated transforming equipment, if any. And the main switchboard shall be such as to ensure to the satisfaction of the administration that a fire or other casualty in the space containing the main source of electrical power, associated transforming equipment, if any, and the main switchboard, or in any machinery space of category A will not interfere with the supply, control and distribution of emergency electrical power. As far as practicable the space containing the emergency source of electrical power, associated transforming equipment, if any, the transitional source of emergency electrical power, and the emergency switchboard shall not be contiguous to the boundaries of machinery spaces of category A or those spaces containing the main source of electrical power, associated transforming equipment, if any, and the main switchboard. Provided that suitable measures are taken for safeguarding independent emergency operation under all circumstances, the emergency generator may be used, exceptionally, and for short periods, to supply non-emergency circuits. Next, services to be supplied by the emergency source of electrical power. The electrical power available shall be sufficient to supply all those services that are essential for safety in an emergency, due regard being paid to such services as may have to be operated simultaneously. The emergency source of electrical power shall be capable, having regard to starting currents and the transitory nature of certain loads, of supplying simultaneously at least the following services for the period specified here and after, if they depend upon an electrical source for their operation. For a period of three hours, emergency lighting at every muster and embarkation station, and over the sides as required by regulations 3-11.4 and 3-15.7. For a period of 18 hours, emergency lighting, 1. In all service and accommodation alleyways, stairways and exits, personnel lift cars and personnel lift trunks. 2. In the machinery spaces and main generating stations including their control positions. 3. In all control stations, machinery control rooms, and at each main and emergency switchboard. 4. At all stowage positions for fireman S outfits. 5. At the steering gear. 6. At the fire pump referred to in paragraph 2.5, at the sprinkler pump, if any, and at the emergency bilge pump, if any, and at the starting positions of their motors, and 7. In all cargo pump rooms of tankers constructed on or after July 1, 2002. For a period of 18 hours. 1. The navigation lights and other lights required by the international regulations for preventing collisions at sea in force. 2. On ships constructed on or after February 1, 1995 the VHF radio installation required by Regulation 4-7.1.1 and 4-7.1.2, and, if applicable, the MF radio installation required by Regulations 4-9.1.1, 4-9.1.2, 4-9.1.3, 4-9.1.4, 4-9.1.5, 4-9.1.6, 4-9.1.7, 4-9.1.8, 4-9.1.9, 4-9.1.10, 4-9.1.11, 4-9.1.12, 4-9.1.13, 4-9.1.14, 4-9.1.15, 4-9.1.16, 4-9.1.17, 4-9.1.18, 4-9.1.19, 4-9.1.20, 4-9.1.21, 4-9.1.22, 4-9.1.23, 4-9.1.24, 4-9.1.25, 4-9.1.26, 4-9.1.27, 4-9.1.28, 4-9.1.29, 4-9.1.30, 4-9.1.31, 4-9.1.32, 4-9.1.33, 4-9.1.34, 4-9.1.35, 4-9.1.36, 4-9.1.37, 4-9.1.38, 4-9.1.39, 4-9.1.40, 4-9.1.41, 4-9.1.42, 4-9.1.43, 4-9.1.44, 4-9.1.45, 4-9.1.46, 4-9.1.47, 4-9.1.48, 4-9.1.49, 4-9.1.50, 4-9.1.51, 4-9.1.52, 4-9.1.53, 4-9.1.54, 4-9.1.55, 4-9.1.56, 4-9.1.57, 4-9.1.58, 4-9.1.59, 4-9.1.60, 4-9.1.61, 4-9.1.62, 4-9.1.63, 4-9.1.64, 4-9.1.65, 4-9.1.66, 4-9.1.67, 4-9.1.68, 4-9.1.69, 4-9.1.70, 4-9.1.71, 4-9.1.72, 4-9.1.73, 4-9.1.74, 4-9.1.75, 4-9.1.76, 4-9.1.77, 4-9.1.78, 4-9.1.79, 4-9.1.80, 4-9.1.81, 4-9.1.82, 4-9.1.83, 4-9.1.84, 4-9.1.85, 4-9.1.86, 4-9.1.87, 4-9.1.88, 4-9.1.89, 4-9.1.90, 4-9.1.91, 4-9.1.92, 4-9.1.93, 4-9.1.94, 4-9.1.95, 4-9.1.96, 4-9.1.97, 4-9.1.98, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4-9.1.99, 4
for a period of 18 hours. All internal communication equipment is required in an emergency. The shipboard navigational equipment is required by Regulation B-19. Where such provision is unreasonable or impracticable the administration may waive this requirement for ships of less than 5,000 gross tonnage. The fire detection and fire alarm system, and intermittent operation of the daylight signaling lamp, the ship S whistle, the manually operated call points, and all internal signals that are required in an emergency. Unless such services have an independent supply for the period of 18 hours from an accumulator battery suitably located for use in an emergency. For a period of 18 hours one of the fire pumps required by Regulation 2210.2.2 and 2210.2.2.3, if dependent upon the emergency generator for its source of power. For the period of time required by Regulation 29.14 the steering gear where it is required to be so supplied by that regulation. In a ship engaged regularly in voyages of short duration, the administration if satisfied that an adequate standard of safety would be attained may accept a lesser period than the 18-hour period specified in para 2.2 to 2.5 but not less than 12 hours. Remaining subjects will be discussed in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please share with your friends and subscribe to Marinora for more such videos. If you have any queries or comments, drop it in comment box.